It seems no matter what I do, there's never enough time. Never enough time. I'm just running and running and running right now in between properties being screwed up and not being able to make enough videos to not being able to get my car's details. Uh, problems with labors that I just wish I didn't have. I'm just managing and I don't want to manage no more. I want out. I want to quit. I want to quit. I want to quit. Not quit, but quit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sick and tired of all the, all the fucking shit. I'm just sick of it. I'm just sick of it. Does that make any sense? Just a mundane task, mundane task, like going to the bank is a royal pain in my arse. I mean, I've got four more things to do right now, minimum. Deal that is. How you been? I'm good. How about you? Been good. What's new? Hi. Problems. Problems. Fun problems and stuff. It's a, it's a blast. I love it. I know. How, be, how much better? Could, do I make this to me? Yes. Okay. I like I like problems. Has my dad been into bug you? Yes. Okay. Cool. And it was so funny because I talked to your sister. Uh huh. And um, one of the guys from one of the news stations was at a drive-through. I seen that online. You, you know what? In fact, I think I seen you said something on it or something because I seen your Facebook thing through that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what he. Yeah, I seen you on there. Uh huh. That's funny. Yeah. He loves that. Hey, I've left a couple messages there. Um, you guys were doing a pickup yesterday, and then he's going to do a pickup this morning. And I guess my secretary just called, and he just jumped down and pissed down her throat for your fucking guy. Who's on? I don't know who's shitting your lucky charms this morning, but we've been waiting for you for over 24 hours, and I haven't seen nobody. Don't even get a call back. Um, I, I want to get the cars gone, but basically brokers, dispatchers, and truckers are... They're like water, man, and I, I don't need this shit. So if you guys want to take the car, I've got them sitting there, both of them. You can take one, you can take two, you can have your pick. But I'm gonna need a window of when you wanna pick it up. She simply asked you for a 10 to one, or a one to four, or a six hour window, or how about a noon to six, she said she even asked you. And you guys just wanted to like piss in our lucky charms. And honestly, I don't care if you take the car or not. So call us back. Don't, in fact, don't call me. Call my office. Call my secretary. I don't want to deal with you no more. She don't either, but it's her job. So let me know. Thanks. We'll talk to her. Let her know. I don't want to know. I don't even care. Have fun. Hi, Chewy. And then pick up the cement and the, the rail, or the, board, the post. Oh, and the gate thing, huh? And the gate. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Um, Chewy, I don't trust it. Hold on. Get right there. <laughs> Roxy, you just can't be trusted. Huh? And you look like you're going to jump. She probably, she probably will. Go back this way. Go back. <laughs> okay. You're just going to sit down, huh? Stay there. Stay. Roxy, come here. Let's put you inside. Come on. Okay. So Robert will be here, hopefully, in a little while. I'll show you what we picked up. These three are going to have to come out. Put stuff in? I think pick around them a bit and they'll come out. Well, I don't know. I think we might be able to reuse them. Oh. Yeah, and it's just, but these three definitely gone because we used to have a fence here. Um, and this here, we're going to roll up, get rid of, put in a wheelbarrow, however, put it in a garbage bag out there. I know it won't hold, but it'll keep it separate from the dirt. We like to keep this rock to fill in stuff up there as it gets fucked. These two will come out. We talked to them, and well, here, I'll show you this. We got new posts just in case. And then there's all the fence panels. So each one of these is an eight foot section. 
All those are past extensions? Yeah. Oh, he didn't get the white, and then we've got the posts that go over those. The oh. big white square ones. Oh, right. So, but each one of them is a white panel. No, Robert's picking up another load in his van right now. So, these are all coming out. Because we put up a beautiful six foot vinyl fence. Why do we want this? We got one, two, three, four, five, exactly six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we got probably two extra. I think they're probably spaced four inches too far apart, maybe five. Like even when they get water and fill in, it looks like maybe they're just a little bit too far apart for it to be a nice hedge. Yeah. Okay, so if all these came out, let me show you the other side. The end result is, huh? Are they, stay they stay out, and those two come out. Okay. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and that one. Three. These three, not this one. She only wants two small entrance. This is stupid. By the time these get full, you just got all this wasted space. We could put this with a couple stepping stones and have a little bench or something, and yeah. it'd be a nice bushy area. Just yeah, be a nice yeah. little courtyard type yeah. thing. Versus when this is done, when this is getting no water now. Once it gets water, he just got the sprinklers fixed today. We've been dealing with that all morning. But once this gets water, dude, this is going to be. Look at theirs in the back right up there. That's yeah. how they look. By the time they get that, dude, you won't be able to even walk in there. Nope. Dirt's either going there or there tile that are on the top are either going to go here or here. So that way they're out of there because we're going to start planting trees in two weeks and that just needs to be all... Okay. And now you're going to know everything here and Robert will know nothing. He won't know what's going on here. Now we're going to go ahead and assume that that is the fence line. We're going to assume that. Yeah. This right here. We're going to take this as the center of the fence line. Now let's take that and go right out here. I'm going to assume that this is pretty much the property line. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think 11 will fit. 10 will fit for sure. There's 12 or 13. But that gets us, them trees are 60 bucks, 70 bucks a pop for a tree that big. And we ain't just gonna let them die. Yeah, that's a, but this will make us a nice hedge here to make like that kind of, but smaller, of course. But something that, now we don't have to put a fence here, like we've already got it on that side. So it'll kind of match it a bit. At some point, while you're picking, shoveling, or doing, and rolling right here, when this is rolled over, we want to take this right here, around this thing, right about like that. I want to see, I'm almost positive that by the time this pipe is here, that it's four inches lower. I think that this just wasn't finished and there was a fence here. And I think by the time we get here or something, yeah. I think this this pipe should be five inches underneath because it has to drain out. Yeah. And, and it seems like it's, there was a fence here. So I think he got here and he just laid it under and didn't really, this kind of went like <laughs> Yeah. So I think once we dug this out a bit, this needs to be down right here about four inches yeah. for us to be able to connect into this and if it don't work and if it doesn't do that then we'll have to once we get it rolled up and we're in that far figure out where it is back there because we got to get it down but i think it's coming up and i think it's just i think it will go down yeah, it, it's got a bunch of dirt in there. yeah just this part wasn't finished that part was so hopefully he planned for this because it would be nice to take our first drain and put it right about here Wait, we're this far out. So our first drain will be here. That way, our second drain is going to be about here. But that's nothing we'll get to right now. It's just thinking ahead because of that. And I think, honestly, this will come down... Basically, Robert Robert yesterday wanted to start tearing it out and putting posts in. And we didn't have everything here. And you got to slow him down and stuff. Same for you. I expect you to kind of... I don't know, you're thinking that maybe he's in charge of this. No, 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 no. Ain't really nobody in charge. Ideas are all heard from everybody. I want to hear them all. 
But I told him, no, dude, I don't want to tear this thing down and have it half ass all done and I have it down for three days or four days. Getting this done and, and track today is good. And then tomorrow we could actually get it first thing in the morning, hit this sucker, tear that thing down, draw a string line, dig some posts, put the fucking posts in the straight stretch. And from there, by the time we're done, the first ones will probably be drying up, start hanging some panels or something. Yeah. Basically, we're doing a fence there, a gate, and then a fence back. But that part would need, just need to get sealed up to where their dogs are okay and our dogs are okay. Yeah. Well, next thing you know, we'll have a dog fight. But I think <laughs> these things are going to come down so fucking fast. This fence will come down in about... I, I can't see us have over an hour taking this fence down. Well, that's close, wasn't I? It's just with the clippies, it's just coming right off. If I'm gone, I won't be in the morning. But if I happen to not be around or something at the time, Robert will rush into things too fast. You won't make the train. We all have our own little unique thing. But Robert wants to gung-ho do things and he doesn't think about everything, a raging bull type thing, and then we've got a problem. Slow down, sit back, think, look at it, because the thing is that we've got to plan this out panel by panel yeah. for it to look nice, for everything to go coordinate. These are, I don't remember if they're eight foot or seven foot eight, but whatever the panels are to whatever the posts are, I know we can probably adjust a bit if we're off, but the point is somewhere in here, we're going to have a four foot or a three foot five panel, something stupid. What are they, like 14? Uh -huh. Did you see them really? Well, actually you're gonna help with the next video and you don't even know it, do you know? You don't even know it. One on our car guy, one on our car guy .com. I'm gonna make an addition to the yard remodel video. And actually, I was coming down specifically to hope there's a piece of poop here to take a picture of. And there is a piece of poop there, but it's not sunny enough to take a picture of the poop yet, I don't think. But I'm going to try. Oh, Roxy wants to come. She wants to really help. Maybe she'll make some new poop for us. But I got a poop and bread video. And Albertsons and Safeway and Bonds, I guess, mixes their bread with poop and uses it for compost. That's gross, I'm getting a picture of poop. I mean, can you believe this? Let's get the proper zoom so we can get macro or whatever. <laughs> Mixing poop. Oh no, I didn't want to take 14 pictures of poop. So, at the end of the day here, really, we're just getting a picture of poop. This would kind of be a video That's a nice picture of poop there. Thank you, Roxy. That was a great help. And you didn't even know it. Okay, so we've been doing the backyard here. And we've got it all raked out. Hugo's been here. We've got a nice little, um, these pavers are gonna go in here along the side. I've had two guys helping me, Hugo and Robert. That's our little whoosh. And it's kind of a, a deal of who's gonna last. And right now they're both kind of here. Hugo's definitely doing a little bit more. And at times Robert does more and sometimes Hugo don't show up and sometimes this and sometimes that. We all got unique things. So we'll see what happens. We've got concrete and cement. And the walls are in and the tops all filled in. We got steps all cut in. And now we're on the part for um, vinyl fencing. And let me show you the fencing. We've got two areas. We pulled a couple plants out. Um, there was just too many, and there came out here. Here's our vinyl poles with a privacy panel or what have you, and the caps for the posts. And that's all going to go in down the side there. We took out all the lava rock here and have had to check and see if that was on. Had to expose the drainage pipe, and we're going to lay drains in. Astro, this has not even been pictured yet. Um, the van is a deal on this, so it's going bye bye. Won't even get pictured. Never will be pictured. Hugo has been ripping trees out like crazy. There's one, two, three, four, five that came out here because there was trees or hedge all the way to here. And we're going to put this vinyl fence in here so we figure why the hell leave a hedge. 
and a vinyl fence. Because the vinyl fence is going to be beautiful. I've got all the panels in the back here. I got my picture of poop. Can't beat that. This must be Robert's stuff. So let's see what we got in here. Da -da -da -da. Full of all these panels. Okay, well, one thing that I've been learning at this late stage of life, somehow instead of way earlier, is to check my receipts. I'm telling you what, Walmart actually charged me the other day. Every day, every time I go, I'd say honestly, three out of ten times they charge me for an extra package of meat or something. Okay, six eighty-five. So it's only fifteen? Yeah. No, there's four of them. And that's right. But we're minus. Is how many here? Fifteen. Fifteen. Are you serious? Hello? Hey man. What's up? Uh -huh. um, chimneys and fans. Okay. Okay. Where are you at? Huh? Where are you at? I'm in the garage. Got a hangover, dude. <laughs> you got a hangover? What's that? What's that? Okay. Cool. Sounds good. Uh, I'm out here. I'll talk to I'm walking out front. I'm out in the back. Hello? This is the Fraud Prevention Department at Wells Fargo Bank calling for Rocky Mountain. Press 1 to continue in English. Para continuar en español. There is 20. Thank you. There is 20? Verify some recent activity. Okay. I have to take it. Okay, well, Robert and Hugo are here. Hugo's busting ass and getting these trees in. And they did some holes yesterday and stuff. It's looking good. It's definitely looking good. This one here is definitely crooked. Not that cool. Turn it off because the thing was leaking? Yeah. Okay. Huh? No. Oh, you're leaving those. We're not gonna do it right now. Oh, not now. Okay. Just stuff that got the fence out. Now we're good. Okay. And this, because I don't want to repot them. Yeah. If we plant them on the other side, we'll just do them as we go. I think. Okay. Um. You want to start here then? Where do we start at? Right here in the pole. Basically, we're just gonna start though. We'll get the first one, and then we'll get him set up, and then we're gonna go do our thing okay. for this stuff. So in between, whatever, that's the plan here. I'm getting paperwork done, etc. Um, I was going to ask him right now, and I might call to see. It's bailing wired on. Yeah. Hey, Alan. Nathan next door here. Give me a call when you get a chance, or just grab me when I'm outside. We're here on the fence. We just got our hedge out, and now we're at the front here. Give me a call whenever. Have fun. Oh, 
Robert. Gate opening. I don't want to keep telling you what to do and have to do it if I'm giving you a job to do, Robert. Your new outdoor space. Our worry-free fence design comes with pre-routed posts for either. Why don't you put a yellow mark on that for me? I would be happy. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Well, he was the manager. He was a nice guy, and he could have got it done. He was in a hurry. Boom. Did it want to? No. Not without your ID. Everybody wants ID now. Didn't, did you give it to, did you show it to, what's his name? Hey. No. So now the problem is we came down here and now he don't have ID. So, yeah, no ID. So they can't do it. That's so, it's, that's the only reason they can't do it from what we know here now. So, um, I don't know how they work it around at the DMV. Um, DMV might be able to work around that because they are who's going to issue his ID. You go to the DMV and you say, hey, I don't have my license. I need to register this car. Oh, well, okay, we need to get you a temporary and get your license replaced. You're going to have to get a $33 replacement license or whatever. Easy deal. But guaranteed, <laughs> they're not going to register the car to you unless you pay them for the license because you're not even able to drive it away when you leave. Right. That's my opinion. That's what I think they're going to say. Other than that, they should be able to do everything. Come help me pick my post. Three and three? So yeah. We got enough, right? That's what we need. Yeah. There wasn't nothing else here, was there? No. An Anna apple? Oh my god. I've never seen such a thing. Do you take that to you? I don't think so. Hello? Can I do for you? Um, I don't have anything like that anymore. No clue, man. I don't have nothing like it anymore. Just depends on the car, and I don't know which one it was or how long ago it was, man. Don't have anything like that, though. Have a great day. I came in about about 50. Oh, hey. Hey, give me one second, Dan. Give me, I'll, I'll call you right back. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. I'll call you an I'll call you right back. What happened? I came in on Tuesday okay. and bought $1,500 worth of fencing. And we planned everything out with the lady and stuff, and we figured everything, and I put it in will call. The only thing is, we didn't pick any ends, corners, or nothing like that. Okay. I would like to get the same discount in the sale I was buying then, because I wanted them all. I just didn't get no ends or corners. We just got all the regular stuff, and that wasn't figured what was in. The percentage you got off? It was the 10%. It was the Labor Day 10% fencing thing. So we ordered it all at once. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, sir. And you gotta do it all again. I'm sorry, man. Oh, no. It's worth asking. I mean, it's 15 bucks. You know? Sorry, so it's 10% of these? Yes. For everything? Well, if I'm gonna answer that question, I'm gonna say everything to where I get 69 cents extra off. <laughs> but to be honest, it was just the fencing with what he said. Yeah, we'll take a 20 bag this. <laughs> Well, I didn't think. What? Where's that? Last time I got pulled over, I don't think they caught me in the back of the day. It was for my truck. Being too low, they pulled me over. I don't know if I'm going to get in the back of the day. That's a stretch. No, probably handed it. You probably did what I do. When somebody. I won't take it out to show the people at the. Um, at the gym, I won't take it out because if I do, they'll hand it back to me and I'll put it in my pocket and go on with my day. That's, that just makes me think that. Pretty so cheap. You only got charged three poles? Yeah. Yeah, the first time it was 143. Because he didn't see the other two. No, he did. He went over and he did both things. But just the way he rang it up. Sure. Well, I know for a fact. Here you go, $82. Oh my God. Because the first time it was 143. Oh, yeah. 
So he didn't charge us for one of the expensive ones and one of the cheap ones. Well, I don't they're, all, they're, both, they're all the same price. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, they're all Are they? Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, yep. That's There's just two there. There's two and two, yeah. Two and one, yeah, in the plant. That adds up, dude. Oh my god, dude. Those were the ones, what's his name? He got his pull free. No, he didn't. Uh, no, he didn't. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to be so I tight should... on trying to get this done. Oh, it's pitiful. Give him a receipt, though. Oh, he can't. He can always see. Can give him a receipt. I've already, do you know how much I've already spent? Yeah. Spent 16 on just material. Right. Believe me, between us putting it up, we'll be in it for the 25 I'm telling him. You know, hey, if I can't put my license, don't you, do you think Homeboy can do it without a license? Who's that? Cliff. Well, I'll ask him tonight. But also, we ought to be able to do it at the DMV. You're going to have to go get a license. So, I mean... Well, I have a license, dude. No, you don't. Well, I mean... What do you mean that we have to go to the DMV? If Cliff can do it, we don't have to, right? Yes. But you're going to have to go anyways. You're going to have to get a license. Oh, I know that. If I go high, I can't find mine. Well, you can't find yours. <laughs> Could be in your truck. Because, you know, a picture ID, if I lost it, you know how long it takes to get a license? You get a temporary the same day. They want a picture one. Who? Who? Oh, you mean at the DMV if I go there and do it. I get that. Should I drop you off down here? Where? I'm at this end of town. No, no. Can I sleep in the van? Lo unload it, yeah, I don't care. Do whatever you need to do, yes. I was thinking if you were there, you could figure some stuff out, find it in your truck, whatever. I don't know. But once I make this turn and go past this, it's all on you to Uber home. Huh? Let's go to your house. Okay. Don't get mad. I'm just trying to help him think it through. I know, I know, I know you're frustrated. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to make sure we cover all the bases. Welcome to my world. I went through that. I know they're not. You got another bag at the house or two? No, they're all in here. I put them in here. The gray and the black. Like no, there's a purple bag of something. Oh, I got that one. Yeah, it's not there. I don't know if that 